I just want everyone to know that this is adorable. Flavio taking a piggyback ride on Mario. He was riding on number four. Number four is a strong little Yoshi, I tell you what. Just like the operative he's named after. Also, I leveled up off screen, and I went up HP this time, so yippee. Ah, now what is all this? A dead end taunting Flavio with its dead endedness. But, hmm, is this. I think this is the skull rock buffering blabbering about. Well, it puzzled any Greeks of ancient secrets, yes? And let's plunge into this puzzle. Got to have you be able to tell the other areas. Let's just get this while we're at it. And that's all she says, really. Kind of a hint that you can like paper thin through it. This rock looks. This rock looks a skull. I f feel like you're supposed to say like after looks. Typo. This rock looks a skull, but you are number four, so I forgive you. And hey, there's a spot in the eye where you could pinch something! Hey, Gonzales, doesn't Flavio have a gen that might fit in that eye hole? <laughs> what is it, you ask me? You want Flavio to need something, is this correct? Now what could I possibly hear that you would need with sex anxiousness? Chocola cola? What? Want me to give you the chocola cola? Ha! I must scoff at you! That's too much of little man, except- Wait! I already gave that to you, you rat! I'm giving money. What? You want me to lend coins to you, poor papa? I must scoff at you! Well, I don't need coins for the dessert island anyway, hmm? I mean, the inn and the shop charge us. We do need coins. Think before you speak, you foolish thing. Think! You should be asking that to those people. What? You want me to lend you the skull gem? You really, really need it. This is the only with the house of Flavio, you know. But I suppose it is alright, because I am Flavio. He has such ludicrous wealth. I'm just lending it, though. Do not dare run off with it. Don't make me talk pay. Ha, <laughs> that's a nice effect. So remember the song Flavio was singing? Three times Red Stash lands on his end. Four times Blue Stash's belly is whacked. If you get uh, any of those wrong, like if you do Blue Stash first, um, three embers will attack you again. So let's hear those fireworks go boom. This is the first time we need Bobbery for something. At the Boom Bossa Boom Festival. <laughs> oh, such excitement! The cave entrance! Hmm? Huh? What? Ah! My skull gem! Mario! What were you thinking? That gem was part of the House of Flavio! Phew! Oh, what a happy day. I have my skull gem back. My jolliness has no end. Now then, I'm sure you're a little disappointed, but Flavio must be heading back now. I cannot let this back in camp worry about me further. You can understand, yes. So, let me know when you find the glitty treasure, alright? And with that, it is time for Dungeon 5. The Star Day Circle Note. Scoffing at danger, my brave explorers enter the cave. Will they actually find the Pirate King's treasure? I chum with anticipation. We have a new entrance animation. This is cool. 
the Pirate's Grotto. This will actually be our first full-size dungeon since the Great Tree, because both the Glitz Pit and, um, and Creepy Steeple were just very small dungeons. <laughs> yeah, some of an unremarkable room here. It is pretty atmospheric, at least. <laughs> Thankfully, we already titled these lava bubbles. No things, I hope. See, okay, that Shine Sprite is harder to notice in the GameCube version. Just saying. Oh, yeah. Corrupt This is one of the dungeons where I do kill every enemy. Not to mention they still give us a hefty bit of star points. Like, two star points per kill is pretty generous. Also, with the, um, the Ice Shield badge, you do do more damage to fire enemies. So, pretty easy kills overall. I hate you super doi- Doi-Con. Joy-Con Drift. Doing it again. Just art attacking. I don't know what I'm drawing, I'm just being nonsensical and I love it. <laughs> Honestly, I think I just found another farming spot. I, I can just keep going in and out of the dungeon and fighting these same lava bubbles, you know? That's just an easy star piece. And look, we have to loop back around this way to get that item up there, so that's just like a free star piece. Um... Thing is, there's actually three different ways across this spike floor. We could either use Vivian, we could use Paper Thin, or we could use Number Four. Prefer to use number four because he's the fastest of those options. But now we have two new enemies here. <laughs> so yeah, we have bullet bills now. First time seeing them in this game. They're actually very early in Paper Mario. They're in the first dungeon, but they're like a one-time encounter. Like those Bill Blasters before the Koopa Burrows fight. And then you just never see them again, except for the variants in Bowser's Castle. Oh, wow, I completely forgot to title them. Don't worry, we'll be fighting plenty more, like right now. That's kind of why I had the Piercing Blow badge on, because they could really help against these guys. Let's just test it out right now. Alright, the same saw this moves as the power smash. Good, because we do need the art attack back. When there's one Bill Blaster remaining, it does shoot out two Bullet Bills. Or at least I thought it did. I guess I'm wrong. I don't even think I needed that Piercing Blow, because I could have taken it out in one more hit. But I do need it for this one. And then the Bullet Bill will just uh, suicide itself, so... You can like just title it, and the battle will be won.
And these enemies only appear in this dungeon. Not the Pit of Heart Trials or anything, so we're good to go here. And those are actually the, uh, the last paddles for this uh, chapter. Except for the bosses. Because we already did uh, the Pit of Heart Trials enemies. This is like the center of the dungeon. We've got a nice big waterfall here and two floors. We need number four here. All right. Now, uh, the bulky ball bombs. <laughs> we can use Bobbery to instantly kill them. It will take some help from us, but I think we can survive. Especially since there's only two of them. Not a big deal here. It only does one damage to us. We can survive this easy. There's a locked door. There's actually the only locked door in this dungeon. Yeah, we don't really need a replenishment too bad right now. I guess I should have just opened with a jump attack, because that actually does more damage to it. Bobbery is very strong, as you can see, and he'll only get stronger as we level him up. He's got a very good AoE attack, too. have a good purpose for coops here. Okay, they kind of changed this uh, a little bit. That Shine Sprite used to be level with the ledge, which means you could cheat it by using your super hammer attack by that spot, but I can see why they changed that here. The solution's still the same. There would have been like a block directly next to it, and then you could hammer it next to it, but you don't really need to discover that block because you can just use the, uh... I mean, just a super hammer, you could use Bob Reed too to hit it. So yeah. We already tattled Parabuzzies, thankfully. So I need to just worry about defeating it. Okay, sure, whatever. Hope you get a first strike off you, but whatever. You know what? Uh, Bobbery, just appeal for me. And I'll just knock them out with an art attack. Perfect. I kind of almost am drawing a Buzzy Beetle shape there. Look at my epic frame of perfection. <laughs> Bobber, get back to work. Turn back. Go no farther, or you will never leave. Uh, there is a thing here. Those coins on that boat panel are new. I don't really know why we need those. I can clearly see the boat panel.
Just one star point? I thought I just got more from them. Weird. Or maybe we don't get any more star points from them because we're overleveled. Or just that weak. <laughs> This room has quite a few secrets. They, okay, they made this lower than it was in the GameCube, and I kind of agree. This place, this part is a little bit finicky. I'm glad the platform's lower. One of the few times we have to use Cubes' hold ability after Chapter 1. We can launch him over to get that, but... And that's like our only dungeon key here. Then we can jump on this for two secrets. No! And Joy Conjurit is gonna make this a nightmare. No, I have an idea. Vivian. You actually have a unique purpose. Oh my god! You actually have a unique purpose here, Vivian. You can keep me from moving. Stupid Joy Con. person. Also, this tiny patch of water does have piranhas, or nibbles. Just want to show that. They certainly did make this place more gorgeous with the glowing water. I guess a refill wouldn't hurt. Uh, in this room, we're gonna be needing Goombella, because lots and lots of parabuzzies. Yeah. I mean, pirates do like their uh, watery grotto hideouts. Why does the ground pound not register as well as it did in the GameCube? There are just a lot of... There's kind of as many downgrades as there are upgrades to this version, I gotta be honest. But as long as the backtracking is better, I don't really mind it. Not really worth doing, we would have gotten one, oh, oh, one anyway. I mean, I guess every star point matters, you know. <laughs> yeah, except for all the parabuzzies, and of course that secret we just found. See, now it works. Oh, I don't remember a lava bubble being in this fight. This is new, and I don't mind it. Extra star points.
Uh, can we actually just get another art attack? Thank you. It's just very tedious at this point. I'm sure there's a recipe we can use you for. I really like this room. So here we need our paper tube power. We can also use Vivian again, but that's a lot more tedious. And same deal in Glitzville. Hidden block underneath this. And I think that's our last shine sprite for this level. I, I no, sorry. Actually, I, I can't title this area. Yeah, that's what that's what being a platform is all about, and it's amazing. No, I should have used a jump attack. I keep forgetting because the jump deals more damage. So the embers give one star point, and the low bubbles give two, even though the embers have more HP. That makes zero sense. That is very, very dumb, honestly. Oh, come on! Freaking faker. So there's gonna be more lava bubbles since they give more HP of, or star points apparently. Well, come! Oh my God, you stupid Joy-Con! Lucky guy, eh? Now this used to be, like, uh, wooden boards. I don't like how they just changed it to a rock. The wooden boards were more unique. And this is the last time we'll encounter Bill Blasters. We're inside Pirate's Grotto. This is a long corridor. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, number four is good for taking care of the Bill Blasters, because of his gulp move. Oh, come on! That is bull. I was still in the air and you know it. You know what, number four? You're my human shield. Hello, everybody. It's me, Mario. Look what good of a parent I am. <laughs> Took that like a champ, Wally.
I think coming up... Uh, this is like the second to last enemy we'll see in this dungeon. Which is weird. Yeah. Yeah, when I realize it, there's not really gonna be any more enemies until the boss. No, my strategy. You just not get star points when you kill them like this? Because that's honestly really lame. Like, if they actually change it like that. That's just my entire farming strategy, you know? It sucks. Oh, look, guess what? We There's no way back. I wonder what ability we're about to get. <laughs> I like how they have a save point here, that's fair. It's really not much of a mini-boss. Oh, this treasure chest is- okay, why do they just have a super stream in here? That's just kind of random. Hidden badge too, that I'll never use. Yeah, uh, they'll be explained soon. <laughs> York! York? Nolan York? Or I mean York, one of the Vegapunks. Because you deserve to be locked up in there, York. Oh, sweet, sweet salvation! I thought no one would ever come! I had given up! What's that? Spare you the prologue and just curse you already? Now, how do you know I was going to do that? No, seriously, hang on a sec. Can you just listen to my spiel for a little bit? I've been locked here forever, bored stiff, doing nothing but practice this speech. Huh? I'm already the fourth cursing chest you met? Are you serious? So, you're saying you know exactly how this is all going to turn out. Man, talk about a real deal. You're a twisted little guy, you know that? Okay, fine, 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 fine. I get the picture, okay? Sheesh, all I wanted was to see the face of some unlucky soul when I popped out. Is that so much to ask? No. Anyway, what are you waiting for? Just open it already. You know what the key looks like, Mr. C, and already? Some ghost here has it. So let's beat him, get it, and we'll get this far sir with. Come on now, I'm waiting! So yeah, it's just gonna be three embers again. They could have, like, put a new mini-boss here. And that is another thing about Paper Mario 1. I feel like it did have more enemy variety. They could have just reused the the big lantern ghost from that game. I'm just saying. Again, why didn't I jump on it? I'm so stupid. Not that it matters, I'm just gonna use Art Attack. Ironically, he has a Super Shroom too. Haha. <laughs> so after this, I'm just gonna change to the GameCube music, then we can listen to the rest of this dungeon in the GameCube theme. There's no enemies gonna bother us and play the the, the weak enemy music. I'm so sure we could hear the cursed ghost uh, theme too. Yeah, yeah. Whoop de doo. You got the key. Party time. Now let me out already. Alright, here we go. Since you're just itching to get this over with. Ahem! Wee Fools! Ah, uh, that old boy that my throat. You dumb spell right into my absolutely brilliant trap! And now you will suffer! Oh yeah, I am so evil! Bathe in the foul awful! Oh wait, what was next? Oh yeah! You fools will be cursed forever for your appalling stupidity! You will rue the day you open this chest of doom! Now, you wretched guy. B-E-C-U-R-S-E-D! 
Wee! Now you're cursed, but good! Suffer, suffer, suffer! Wait, that's maybe too much. Are you alright? That didn't really hurt, did it? Wee! Good! Squirm and suffer like socially awkward worms! From now on, you can turn into a paper boat! Isn't that just gruesome? Let's try it out so I can see the depth of your humiliation. Feel the terror of your fate. It's just like the plane panels, but it's a boat! Ooh! This is actually the least used uh, curse form in the game. Like, there's literally only... Like, we use it here, we use it in Rogueport and Rogueport Sewers, and then we use it in the final dungeon, but that's like so few areas compared to the other curses. It's a, kind of a shame, though. I like this power. Wee! Oh yes, that's suffering! Do you feel the horror? Now you're a pilly little boat! Wee! You float on the water, people will laugh at you, you'll be spit upon! Well, it only works in certain places, so don't worry, it's not too bad. <laughs> He's a nice guy. A shameful buoyancy. Oh, I like that little barrier effect. When you want to run boat yourself, just do it again. Yes, your pain is like a tasty banquet to me! Now, do you understand your DOOM? <laughs> then off with you, you jaded cursed boat guy! Oh, and hey, listen, thanks for letting me do my thing. I feel better. <laughs> so, is that cursed guy actually a good guy or what? So yeah, that was the last cursed chest. That's why I kind of got a little, uh, special moment there. With some partner commentary. We are going to learn what these things are. In time. Are we on store? No, no, no. Okay, good, yeah, because there's not really that much to collect here. That, that's the thing, like, by the time we get this cursed chest, um, like, the next like, the next chunk of this dungeon is basically a lot of these boat puzzles. Uh, there's no other enemies to fight besides the boss. There is one more secret we can find, but other than that, it's just a straight shot to the boss from here. I never really, uh, no noticed that before, but, yeah. Huh? Okay, this is new. Whoa! Okay, um, totally wrong. Apparently we just have a, a whole new, uh, mini-boss encounter. This is... This is really random. I don't know why they're doing this at all. So let's actually test that out for these bul 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 bulkies. Okay, it's so that actually... I really hate that change, that they... That if you instant kill them with Bobbery, you don't get the points. I really do not like that change. So that's like one of my favorite things to do when I get to this dungeon. It's stupid. Again, why was that necessary? I mean, the more star points the better, can't complain. Oh, I thought I could make it. Dang it.
So you might have noticed uh, that we can go back here and there's obviously a secret behind this waterfall. So every good game has a secret behind the waterfall. That's like our last real collectible here. We can increase our partner's defense. In fact, uh, you know what, we don't need this ice badge anymore. In fact, we're not going to need it until, like... I mean, we could use it in the last dungeon. We don't really need it that bad in the last dungeon. See, yeah. I, I for, oh, I completely forgot I had Close Call on. I could be putting something better on, honestly. What could I put on? I'm not going to need multi-bounce for the boss. Heck, I'll take this off. Where's... I know I have another, uh, strength badge. I honestly just want to put that on. There it is. Perfect. Do I still have the happy heart on? Because I don't really need... need that. No, I don't. I, you know, I don't really need Spike Shield either. So what could I put on instead? You know, for this boss, I am going to be jumping more. So, I... It's... I never thought I would use it, but... You know, for this case, I think we can use it. the bullet bill room. And then we look back to this room. I guess this is also sort of a dungeon key, just a more unique one. <sighs> it's because he had a stupid delay when he starts running. Is it screwing me over here? Jeez. Oh, that freaky voice is making noise again. The ghost must be nearby.
Remember those waves we saw down here? We got to dodge them. I love that background too, just love the, the big open background. Oh, that was almost a perfect run. Yeah, it sets you all the way back, so that's pretty annoying. Oh my god, that was almost perfect. No. That was almost perfect, dude. You know, you kind of can just hug these little indents and survive these waves. That's actually really nice. Okay, good, I was afraid that was going to get me. Okay, please be free to move from those spots, thank you. Okay, I found a little trick there. Hey! Something's coming! There! Floating on the water! That is a lot of toads. Is that a- is that a boat? Hey! Over here! Say us, please! Now we have a paper plane section. What is that? Well, that was pointless. Are you kidding me? It's made of paper. I still can't breathe. They're each this way. What is that? You know, I realize, uh, Chapter 3 is the only one that doesn't have a 2D section like that. Like a going in the background section. Hey, we can cross over now! Hey, hey, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Huh? Ah! Didn't expect those two to be here, or for them to be such good jumpers. Oh, I could have made that, actually. Come on! What is this the way he bumps up the back of it? Come on! Jeez. See, at least the nibbles don't bite Vivian's little tail. I don't know how you did it, but you saved us. We came here looking for that pirate treasure, and then, well, our ship got started by a ghost out on the ocean, and you all ended up here. <laughs> hey! Aren't you Mario? It's me! Me! Don Piazza's daughter, Francesca! And Frankie's here, too! After my dad forgave us, we set on a trip. The ship we were on got a little too close to this island, and now look at us! So I'm amazed the rumors about Cortez were all true, which means he's nearby. 
Hey, so by the way, why are you here? Don't tell me Daddy had you come here to take us back. Not to yet. What? There's a crystal star in the pirate's treasure? Well, I think the treasure is right in there, watched by Cortez's spirit. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be able to take care of him, though. You look tough. Besides, Cortez is the one that trapped us on that rat, so smack him one for me. Okay, this toad, this guy's new, this toad design. Okay, cool, that's cool, he's a freaking shop. That's cool. <laughs> she barely even has a finger. She's like, she's got like a, like Piantas had thumbs, and just thick, thick hands with no real fingers. Guess I better turn the GameCube music off. Cause we're about to hear some new music. Yes, indeed. But whoa! Whoa, did I surprise you? Yeah, sorry about that. See, I actually followed you in here, but I got lost along the way, and, uh, well, anyway, I followed this path, and I finally caught up with you, and then, listen, just forget, okay? I'm sure the Quirrell Star's inside that pirate ship. And the Pirate King Cortez is in there, too, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, probably. No big deal, though, right? You can take it, big guy. We're counting on you. Boy, I know I sure am. And so is Grotus. Wait, how do you know Grotus? Well, sorry, what I say? Forget it. I'll just wait here so I don't get in the way. <laughs> Alright, we could use a replenishment. <laughs> and this ship is called the Black Skull, by the way. Because, you know, ghost ships have to be the Black Something, like the Black Pearl. You ignored my warning. Come inside the door and be lost in darkness. Indeed. Alright, and here is the boss door. Oh, there's a star right now. Come into my. Ha! Ha! Ahem! Enough! I grow tired of this spooky ooh business. I'm a pirate blasted. Pirates do not moan. I'm a cold-blooded villain who robs innocents of life and loot. That's a crying ghost. And you are after my treasure. And this, this is my ship. What are you doing here? Abla, speak. Abla's new. I'll turn your mustache into a bone polisher. Yo. I kind of think Brooke from One Piece was based off this guy, because he's an undead pirate, and he laughs like, yo ho 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 In fact, Cortez is on the GameCube cover. Time to put our jumping power to the test. Thank you, Goomba Shield. But I will swap you out for Bobbery. So 
So it's a multi-phase fight. This is his second form. Actually, you know what? I should I should actually get Vivian out here. So something neat happens if you attack his bone pile in this phase. His rib cage will open up, and then you can strike his. Okay, that's just a new attack just now. Then he can strike his, um, uh, his blue stone in there to deal even more damage, but it's really not that, um, noteworthy because he can damage him pretty fast anyway. It's not like he has, he doesn't have that much HP. Let's just look at him. So yeah, he, he really is a pushover when we're this powerful. <laughs> But now he has a bunch of ads. Thankfully, Vivian is really good for taking care of them. Um, so in that second phase, Cortez would have had a charge attack where he throws a bunch of bones at you, and that's and I would have used Vivian's Veil to hide, but we didn't really get to that, did we? So let's just use Fiery Jinx and take care of these, um, these weapons. Easy peasy. Oh god, I, knew, I just knew I was going to miss that. The audience falls asleep, but they're in for a nasty surprise. Arrgh! I can't take much more of this. This calls for something special. So he's going to pull a hook tail. Now you will see the true might of my spirit form. Though if you could defeat him beforehand, you wouldn't be able to do this. Yeah, we're definitely going to knock him out the next turn. His weapons get up, but it's not going to be a big deal. We are... he is toast, quite literally. Vivian, ready to be the MVP? That's my girl. Very easy, boss. If I were to reimagine him as a Zelda boss, well, just do the same thing I was explaining in that second phase. I am also going to squeeze up a level up before we head back to Rogueport. <laughs> but, like, just have Bobbery, like, blow up his bone pile underneath him to expose his ribcage chest. And then, you know, jump on it. And then when we get to the third phase, when his skull flies around, maybe the, the room floods, so you have to use the paper boat and dodge his swords as you make your way to the skull, and then, you know, attack the skull. So yeah, cool idea. No, My treasure! Uh, he gets tiny like Lord Crump did. I am done for. Yo ho 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 ho! It's stupid though, did they just throw in more Spanish words? You are foolish indeed, for I am not dead. Well, technically, I was already dead, but my espiritu endures, tied to my treasure. So it cannot do anything to me. I do not live. Okay, let's... Okay, here's another headcanon. Cortez's race. He's Spanish. The only Spanish race in the Mario series is the Tostarinans from Mario Odyssey. And they are Macabre skulls. And, you know, Cortez is a skull. So, he's a Tostarinan, and he doesn't have the Macabre designs because, you know, he's undead, like, like the designs just wore off over time. So yeah, pretty cool connection, right? So he cannot do anything to me. I do not live. Still guarding this treasure for hundreds of years is almost as boring as death. What? You are not even interested in me, treasure? Then why are you here? Huh? And cereal? You want this? 
The city of the rock over here? Are these serious? Well, that's no big deal. Here, take it. What do I need? One or two extra gems for? And I don't really like that one anyway. <laughs> He's a pretty rational guy in the end. The Sapphire Star! Now we can use Sweet Feast. Sweet Feast is an upgraded sweet treat. Which, I don't... I don't think I ever use Sweet Treat. It's basically like a healing move for FP and HP. But there's like three poison streams you want to avoid or else you'll be stunned. And, it, and this is basically the same thing, but better. Cortez, Scourge of the Seas. Mario is selling defeat in this fearful spirit and claim the Crystal Star. Perhaps the peaceful, the peaceful citizens of the world no longer need fear Cortez in his fell ship. The other problem remaining is how Mario will escape this isolated island. And could there be another problem still hiding beneath that hero's nose? It's not auto saving. Well, no, that should do it. If you don't need anything else, I'll wait with you. One star, day circle star. And then I heard something my ears could not believe. We had actually discovered the legendary treasure, the Pirate King Cortez. You'd be surprised how hard it is to jump off this platform. Then we do need them before here. Uh, I want to go back inside and tattle his room because he won't have another chance. I also like Cortez's Jolly Roger, you know, the crossbones of a flame because you know the embers. I always like it when pirates have their own unique Jolly Rogers. I, I doubt he could. Oh, you, you get unique animations when you shake the treasure. This, this is cool. I like this. You know, that you think they could easily hide a hidden treasure in here, but I guess since he can't return to this room later, it makes sense. I do think I liked uh, his original boss music better. Um, we don't need that bad of a refill. I don't even think I took any damage in that fight. I only just got damaged by the nibbles. Okay, that crack was bigger than the original. I'm disappointed. Whoa, that was like an earthquake in there. Are you alright? Yahoo! You beat Cortez? Wow, you're really something. Hey, if you got time to be impressed by heroics, you got time to think of a way out of here. Um, all that shaking caused this wall here to crack a bit. I feel a breeze. If we could break down this wall, I think we could escape. I think that's not, I guess that's not much help. What? A breeze? How are we going to bust that solid rock, though? Oh, and also, you cannot go back from here, and that's kind of a tiny bit annoying. Well, I guess it's not too bad, honestly. Ha! It worked just like I said! Well, me first! Come on, everybody, let's get out of here! This damn cave there is just not good for my skin! Let's go, Frankie! Frankie has just said nothing. He is just... He is just an obedient little husband. He saved our lives, man. I'll never forget you, but I need to leave now. Alright, we're gonna go save one more time, and then I guess we'll wrap up this chapter.